If I started studying and practicing Celtic spirituality from scratch, here are the things I wish I knew. In this video, we will explore why Celtic spirituality is not an accurate term to describe a practice or tradition from the past. And I will go into why I do believe it is turning into something special today in the modern world and where to go from there. And you will leave understanding why this is such a complex issue in the first place. Let's dive in to this mysteriously mystical topic together. We've gathered that Celtic spirituality is a problematic term. So why do I still use it and other people who have expertise on the subject? This is because it is like a buzzword today in New Age paganism and it is a gateway into the deeper mystical truths. So I thought I'd ask ChatGPT to give me its description on Celtic spirituality. Celtic spirituality refers to the spiritual beliefs, practices and traditions associated with the Celtic peoples who inhabited regions of Western Europe, particularly Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Brittany in France and parts of England during ancient and medieval times. And just in this description from the most reliable ChatGPT, we have come across the two main reasons as to why this is such a complicated subject. One, the Celtic period encompasses like thousands of years. We have the ancient Celts, the Iron Age Celts, the Roman influence, and most recently, modern Celtic spirituality, which is inspired by a nature-based religious revival in Britain during the 1700s. And it is this very recent revival, only a few hundred years ago, that informs the majority of the Celtic spirituality movements today. And two, over this vast time period, there were many different geographical areas and over time even their names have changed. I'll comment on where I'm from, Wales in Britain or what I'm now calling Britanny. And the reason I call it Britanny is because this is a word used to describe these lands before there were borders. In Wales, where I'm from, over the Celtic period there were many, many different tribes and these different tribes that covered the land that we now call Wales had different practices, traditions and beliefs and ways of working with the land around them. And this alone gives a little insight into how it's hard to just umbrella term a Celtic spirituality from the ancient world. Because Wales is a very small country and if one area is completely different to another area, how can we blanket all of the Celtic regions as having the same spiritual traditions? And one misconception, especially around Wales, is that there were gods and goddesses and deity worshipping practices from the ancient world. Even if I type into Google now and ask what the old gods and goddesses were of the Celtic people in Wales, it will give me a list. And some of these on this list are not even from Wales at all. This list actually describes characters from a book written over a thousand years after the Celtic period. And might I say, this is a very sacred and special book that we will definitely be getting into in the future. And to add to this, everything written down about the ancient people of Britain, especially the sacred leaders such as the Druids, was either by the Greeks or the Romans, in which case they had political agendas, or by Christian monks who were the ones that wrote that scripture I just mentioned called the Mabinogi. People would travel all the way to Britain or Britanny to study and become Druids, and this training could last over 20 years. So, what the hell do we do next? Firstly, ask yourself, why are you interested in this? Why are you here? Is this a personal spiritual pursuit? Is this a wanting to connect to your ancestors? Are you wanting to understand what was specifically practiced, where you are? Or are you just looking at the history or all of it mixed together? For me, it's been a spiritual pursuit and studying the history has just naturally fallen into it. And because I don't have like the academic expertise or like 20 years plus study in these fields, I have decided to start the podcast where I'm going to be talking to people who kind of have a brief overview of all of it, as well as people who specialize in specific areas. So if you've got any recommendations as to someone I could talk to an interview, please comment down below. Now, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, like this is obviously complex and you're not sure where to go from here, here are a few different options. So this might be a personal pursuit for you, but if not, there are thriving communities in the modern world that are tapping into this, such as Modern Druidry or Obod, the Order of Bards, Ovates and Druids. This Modern Druidry is the revival I was talking about that began in the 1700s. And then we can move on to witchcraft. So witchcraft is like a huge thing and I am so excited to bring my friend Mickey onto the channel. You might know her as the Liminal Witch. If not, I will link her down below. 
And then there is plant medicine, community, ritual, ceremony, celebrating the cycles, like just being with the natural world, being with your people, forging new ceremonies with your family and your friends that align with the solstices, the equinoxes, the pivotal points in the year where nature is shifting and we are also shifting, whether through magical ritual or simply feasting and partying, which is one practice I know my ancestors were definitely good at. And although we do not have like elders here who have kept the lineage over the thousands of years as a way to practice and be with the land, the oldest and wisest elders remain in the trees and the water and the mushrooms. But the most important thing is if this is a spiritual pursuit, this journey is for you and whatever calls you is where you will find what you need to discover. For me, this is about respecting nature once again like my ancestors did and reviving the little that I do know for my own personal journey. And if all of this is still too complex, you will find the answers in silence. I assure you, especially silence with the natural world around you because it's speaking, we just need to learn how to listen. Definitely check my video on ancient spirituality in Britain and Ireland for a deeper dive into all of this.